Ho, ho, oh. I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com, and it's time to open a window of the What Culture Advent Calendar of Cringeworthy Christmas Wrestling. Sorry. December to dismember, let's start this calendar off right with the worst WWE pay-per-view of all time. The first solo pay-per-view from WWE's third brand, ECW, which was dying a slow death from a toxic dose of WWE in its bloodstream, December to dismember received 90,000 buys worldwide, which holds a record for the lowest bought non-network pay-per-view of all time. Why? Well, mostly it took place one week after Survivor Series with Armageddon to follow in two weeks, three pay-per-views in a month and you expect people to buy all of them. Even I wouldn't and I have nothing else in my life. What was the card like? Well, Titanic matchups like Balls Mahoney versus Matt Stryker, Mike Knox and Kelly Kelly versus Kevin Thorne and Ariel. You pumped yet? The crowd wasn't as boring, this match sucks, and a few other saltier chants echoed throughout. The money match on the card, and I use that term with every ounce of my British sarcasm, was Elimination Chamber match with weapons won by Bobby, my personality is Muscles, Lashley. Oh, and by the way, Sabu was advertised for the match, but replaced with Hardcore Holly at the last minute. You pumped yet? The event was presided over by Paul Heyman who spent the night cosplaying as a perverted casino manager and after the show was received dismally by fans and critics alike, Heyman was a scapegoat sacrificed to the gods of Vince McMahon. Dismissed by Vinnie Mac and removed from WWE creative entirely, a poisonous piece of Christmas candy which nearly choked Paul Heyman's career to death. I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com, join us tomorrow for another piece of cringeworthy Christmas wrestling.